because a funny thing happened on the way to the future. So in 1998, Congress passed the Digital Millennium Copyright Act, DMCA, the author of all your favorite YouTube videos. This video has been removed thanks to a claim by DMCA. Uh, the DMCA contains the section, section 1201, that makes it a felony publishable by five years in prison and a $500,000 fine to tamper with DRM. And in the beginning, this was a racket to make sure that people gave as much money as possible to entertainment companies. If you owned a CD, it didn't have DRM, and that meant you could rip it and listen to it on your phone. If you bought a DVD, it had DRM. It was against the law to rip it, so you had to buy it again to watch it on your phone. And that was the, that was the uh, initial plan. And it wasn't like it was hard to break. People broke it really early on, but they risked horrible penalties for doing it. Um, Along came uh, uh, vendors who made hardware who said, you know, I think this could be good for our business too. And they embarked on this project to lock down their hardware using, DM using the DMCA and using DRM. And the first of these was Lexmark, uh, then a division of IBM. They made laser printers. Uh, they used DRM to lock the bit in their toner cartridge that said, I am empty. And to refill them and get them to work again, you had to break the DRM and set that bit to I am full. And uh, Lexmark sued one of their competitors, a company called Static Controls that remanufactured their toner cartridges. Ironically, Static Controls now owns Lexmark. They sued Static Controls. And the court at the time, the Federal Circuit, said, OK, well, I've been looking for the copyrighted work your DRM protects. Is it this zero or one? It's not a copyrighted work. Sorry, get lost. But what happened was that everything now has copyrighted works in it, right? Because everything has OSs in it, and network stacks, and Wi-Fi access points, and smart, lots of programmable logic in them. And those are all assuredly copyrightable, copyrightable works. If operating systems aren't copyrightable works, then GNU Linux uh, has no force in its free uh, and open licenses, right? That's the license rides on the fact that it's a copyrightable work. So every, every three years, the Copyright Office holds hearings on people who are getting into trouble with this. Particularly, they like to hear from security researchers, because if you disclose a vulnerability in something that has DRM on it, you make it easier to break the DRM, and that means that you commit a felony, and you can go to jail for five years. And so this year, the Copyright Office heard some hair-raising stories, you know, like these guys. They uh, broke the security on a Chrysler Jeep that had a Sprint network SIM in it. The, Sprint, the uh, security model of Chrysler was um, nobody uses Sprint, so... <laughs> Our, our Jeep. They, they showed that 1.4 million Jeeps on the road in America could be driven from anywhere on the internet, acceleration, brakes, steering, all of it controllable remotely.